a training video for the installation of Nature Suite tomato display units across all produce departments in the Kroger marketing area. Empire Retail team members should allocate approximately two hours for each of these resets. Thank you for joining us. The snacking tomato category continues to grow as our Kroger customers look for healthier snack alternatives within our stores. Our produce departments must continue to adjust our displays to capture the sales dollars available from these shifts in customer trends. With the recent introduction of the new private selection snacking tomatoes, it is the perfect time to adjust our packaged tomato destinations with the help of our vendor partners, Nature Suite and Empire Marketing, all stores will have new display fixtures installed to enhance their existing packaged tomato tables. The following training video gives the Empire Retail team a step-by-step -step process to accomplish the fixture installations and merchandise the tomato snacking destinations to the new planogram. Upon arrival, check in with a member of store management and let them know the reason and approximate duration of your Nature Suite project. If no member of management is available, speak with the produce manager before beginning the project. Equipment will be delivered from the Kroger Distribution Center on the weekend prior to your project date. This equipment should be on the back dock or in the produce prep room. Each store will be shipped exactly the number of fixtures needed for that particular store. There may only be one large box containing all of the equipment needed for your project. As seen here, there will be stickers on the boxes calling out snacking tomatoes, empire, and attention produce department. After locating this box of equipment, place the box on a brown or green L cart. Do not try to carry the box or boxes through the store. Place the L cart near the tomato table, but please be careful not to impede any customer traffic. At this point, check your planogram and notes. Most of our sets will be either 8 feet, 9 feet, or 12 feet. Check the size listed on your planogram and count the tables to see that the footage matches up with what you are about to do. Locate all of the snacking tomato items. Some items, including the Nature Suite, may be merchandised on an end cap section. New items from private selection may still be in the prep room. Open your box of equipment. Make sure you have received the correct amount of risers and end pieces to complete the project at this time. If you do not have enough equipment, contact your Empire Manager to resolve this issue. Go to the produce prep room and secure a blue produce cart, a bottle of spray cleaner, and paper towels. Grab six large RPCs and place on the bottom of the blue cart. You are now ready to begin the project at the table. Starting at one end of the packaged tomato table, remove all units of a single SKU and place into the first RPC. Stack items neatly into the RPC and place the corresponding price signage with each item. Remember to put no more than two items into an RPC. Start a second RPC for the next two items and continue this process until the table is emptied.
this customer is searching for their favorite nature sweet tomato. The Empire representative can quickly locate the item and inform the customer of the price. The packaged tomato table has now been pulled into multiple RPCs and you are ready for the next step. On any project involving produce tables, it is always best practices for the Empire representative to wipe down the surfaces before installing any new equipment or restocking of the table. This is not a deep clean, but a topical clean that must be done on every project. You will now install the equipment. Take the risers from the large equipment box and place it on one end of the table. Go across the entire length of the table until all risers have been used. If you have one end that is open, make sure to use an end cap. Time to lay out the items to the new planogram. This is not the time to fill the items, but to simply lay out one unit per each facing called for on this new planogram. Be very careful to have proper label orientation across the entire section. We want to make sure the horizontal spacing is correct for the table. If the store does not have a particular item in stock that is called for on the planogram, please make a note for the produce manager for later reference. Use a similar size item as a placeholder to keep planogram spacing correct throughout the tables. Now that the layout is complete and spacing is verified, begin filling each item. Proper date rotation and label orientation must be followed on each item. After you finish filling an SKU, Make sure you install the price signage in front of the item before proceeding on to the next. Take empty cardboard back to the baler, return the L cart, return all product back to the produce prep room including cleaters, towels, and RPCs. With the new planogram in hand, ask the produce manager to view the completed project with you and discuss any notes you may have made. Make sure all out of stocks are discussed and please talk with them about maintaining acceptable in stock positions throughout. If possible, also review with store management and leave them a copy of the planogram as well. Take a photo of the completed project under the Go Spot Check mission for this particular store. These pictures are invaluable to share with manufacturers or merchandising as needed. Thank you for watching this Nature Suite training video.